What's up, everybody? I'm Dash. This is my YouTube channel, Dallas Flippin', and you know the deal. Um, so today is Tuesday, uh, January the 18th of 2021, and this is the haul video. So let's see what we got. Um, I'm going to show you some things I got yesterday first because I don't have a whole lot to show you. So I'm combining yesterday and today's into one video. So the first thing I have that I got yesterday is a Hit Clips Micro Boombox. So rocking Micro Boombox, excuse me. Um, if you don't know what this is, and it came out in 2000, it's made by Tiger Electronics, the pioneer of Furbies, and the little handheld games I used to play in the car on the way to vacations and stuff. It's a little jukebox stereo thing. You put this like little microchip in it, and it played like 10 seconds of a song. And that was that was cool, I guess, back then. Uh, I never had one, but uh, this new one in the box. I'm the only one that has the M2M Mirror Mirror song. Um, if you really want it, it's in my eBay store. It's like me singing the song, so look it up, laugh at me later. Um, I got this, it's really cool. It's called Animation by Preston Blair. Learn how to draw animated cartoons. Um, it was one dollar, but the best part is that, you know, any way to tell how old the book is, is look, at, look in the first couple pages. Copyright Preston Blair and Walter Foster, 1949. Uh, I looked up Preston Blair because I do like animation and Bugs Bunny and Tom and Jerry and all that kind of stuff. Um, he was a very well-known cartoonist for Walt Disney and MGM. And it's a really cool. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of it or not. It's worth about 40 50 bucks. I paid $2 for it. It smells old, but it has um, someone tried to like serrate it or cut something and it, it got cut. So either way, it's definitely cool to have. I looked through it last night and... Did some reading on uh, Preston Blair. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do some video game stuff. Let's do some video game stuff. Um, I got this today. Lego Star Wars 3 for DS. It is new in the packaging. I am, the, again, the only one that has a sealed version. There are open versions. I paid $2 for these right here. And it's going to go for about 20 bucks plus shipping. So probably 20, 20, 20 to $25. There are some imperfections on the packaging, but it's still sealed. Um, I found these today, uh, about crap to my britches, and the first one I found was this. It's the Sega Genesis Plug and Play, Power Plug. Um, basically, it's a, it's a product by Tyco. It's a turbo. Uh, let's open her up and see what we got. So a turbo, for those of you who don't understand, is a cheating device for video games. It allows you to delay inputs. Oh, look at it. It's, I don't even think it was used. Look at that. It's still got the thing on it, like the little twisty. Sega Genesis. So it has auto, auto fire, thrash, I guess like you're going to destroy them, steer, that's what's auto steering, turbo and clone, and then a reset button. And I don't know what clone means. 1993 Tyco Industries made in a China. Pat pending. This is so cool. So basically what you would do is you plug this into your Genesis and then you plug your controller into that. So it's like a um, guitar pedal kind of thing where like you plug the cord into the amp. So this would go in there. This is the middleman, so the, the effect from the this or the amp, you know, would send it and uh, the pedal send it to the amp. So what this is doing is it's it's modifying your inputs in in an illegal way, and uh, it makes the gaming experience more fun because you you cheat or you play against your little brother or sister and dominate them in Street Fighter because you're unstoppable with Turbo. But yeah, that's awesome. Uh, let's look at the other thing I got, which is also equally as awesome. But yeah, it's basically new in the package. I don't think it was ever used. I'm gonna pause the video real quick and put it back in the box. All right, video magic. And then this one, I was wondering why they were different, but um, now I know why. This is the same thing, but for Super Nintendo, not just Sega Genesis. So let's check this one out. The power plug. Same kind of box, same kind of style. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, this one's been plugged in. <laughs> they plugged the... Uh, the dock port back into it but yeah it's this one's cooler it's black and pink power plug same same kind of thing super nintendo entertainment system has a little residue might have been used might not have been used it's still super duper spectacularly cool 1993 tyco industries made in china official nintendo seal of quality so yeah let me put this back in the box real quick and we'll check out the boxes all right now that that's over uh, let's do the Nintendo one first because Nintendo is better than Sega. They're very cool. It's got this kind of game genie kind of thing going on, like, you know, the ultimate in cheating devices. It's not what it says, but 
make any Super Nintendo controller the ultimate weapon. Movie voice. Um, works with any Nintendo Entertainment S SNES. Uh, great for all fighting, shooting, driving sports games. Includes a detailed manual instruction. I guess we don't have the manual. Uh, it doesn't come with that. It's so cool. A variable turbo, auto firing, auto steering, thrash. You can select a pre program special for any complex fighting game. Example Street Fighter, Reuse, Brawl. Can be activated by one touch. Instead of the usual four, so instead of basically, it's 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 creating a combo. We need to go up, down, up, B, and then whatever you can just do Hadouken or it's where you set you can where it shoots the red one. Um, yeah, wild, wild, wild. Same with this one. This one also works for as I said, Street Fighter. That's the only other thing I can think of worth playing on any of these older systems that's comparable to anything we have today. But it's super cool, and I saw it sitting there, and I thought, whoa, it was on the bottom shelf. It always pays to sit there, dig around, even though my back was hurting. I was like, I can't bend over. Like, it's worth it. Um, I think they're 20, 30 bucks a piece. Um, so, yeah, good little pickup for a few bucks. I got some more uh, NES stuff. So, we're talking about NES and video games. Uh, we have five games here Super Tennis for SNES, um, NCAA Basketball, NHL 96. So much fun. Not really. I went to a hockey game about that time. I think it was 98, 99. And um, I ate a bunch of popcorn and I had like 10 Cokes. And I remember going home and throwing up. I lived. I was wild. Yeah, it was, it was great. Not really. I hated it. Um, Dig and Spike Volleyball. Hockey's cold. Baseball's where it's at. Now this one is really, really cool. Um, I kind of messed that up. Maybe it came like that. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I fixed it. NFL Quarterback Club 96. So it is the game in the box. So let's check it out. It comes with the game. NFL Qu Quarterback Club 96. And it comes with Manuel. King Griffey Jr. or something. It looks like he's doing Little Mac on the back. You don't get that reference. It's from Smash. Or I guess Mike Tyson's punch out. Oh, look at this. It's got the, the controller and the system and everything. So cool. But yeah, it's complete in the box. Um, I don't know exactly how much it's worth. Um, I would I would say 60 bucks. I don't honestly, I don't know. I didn't really look it up. I just paid for it. But uh, we'll get back to you on that. Now this is something I thought was kind of cool. I think this, oh, we have one more. Especially, this is from yesterday as well. Uh, it's the half off day at the, uh, the big thrift store and uh, it was, I think, five bucks, so I paid like two fifty for it. It's an old uh, custom Ford hot rod, like Model A or something like that. It's a remote control car, but it's a Radio Shack toy. It's like actually wired. I don't know why you'd want a wired RC car. Um, but they didn't have um, very many comps. It's new in the box, they're like two hundred dollars. So uh, if it works, I I'd probably get sixty bucks out of it. So for two dollars, not terrible. I got this one today. This is the last time I guess we have to show and talk about. It is a 1993 Dodge Viper. Um, a very cool car. I had one, but it wasn't not a 93. Um, the hood opens this way like most of the, uh, the super awesome American cars. Ooh, I realize it's missing some engine parts now. Maybe this was a bad buy for three bucks or two bucks. It is missing the windshield, and I didn't know until I got home it's missing the, one of the passenger seat. Uh, I had to pop one of the wheels back into its stance. Everything else looks good. The hood doesn't sit well, but um, I, I noticed when I look inside that it's missing part of the engine rails, like a fuel system. But it is a Barango made in Italy. It's not a Matisso. It's not the other, um, I can't think of the, 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 the brand Walgreens sells. I think it is Matisso. Uh, it's heavy. It probably weighs five pounds. It's a, a very die-cast machine. Um, but interesting fact about the original Dodge Viper is that it was a it was a project with Dodge, uh, and Daimler, and Chrysler. When Daimler owned Chrysler, and basically what they did is they took like a Lamborghini, and they were like, "How can we make it better um, and cheaper?" And they put a V10 in it, and it was basically like a, a parts from a canoe. And the car didn't even have a roof or windows. So when you wanted to get in the car. You had this special thing. It was literally, it was literally zipped across the car. 
and it was just plastic for the windows and the uh, if you want to roll the window down you unzipped it so yeah we've come a long way since 1993 that's really it uh, for me today I got some cool stuff um, nothing else is really going on it's cold here in Dallas Texas but uh if you like this, subscribe, and if you're watching on Tuesday when the video premieres, I'm going to be on the Might Be Reseller podcast tomorrow with Outcountry Sales, and um, I forgot the guy, other guy's name, so don't hate me. Um, but yeah, that'll be fun. Noon tomorrow if you're watching on Tuesday. If not, you can always check out Outcountry Sales channel and check out the podcast next time. So have a great day. Have a happy, dappy Taco Tuesday or Topless Tuesday, whatever, however you want to celebrate that. And... Uh, We'll see you next time.